Welcome back to another episode of my first ever Let's Play, playing as Sweden in a Total War. This is the campaign part 5. Uh, I just uh, won the victory trying to take Antigua, so it's now mine. I did it myself, so I only lost 151 uh, people versus uh, 1120. Mostly I feel like it's thanks to my cannons because I made him attack me. And at the same time he did some stupid things, got exhausted, sent my guys with bayonets in, and finished up the job. Now, uh, I am still bankrupt. I am still very, ba very bankrupt. But, uh, let's see. I had a plan of uh, using this fleet and this army to take Iceland. And I just have to see how they react if I move them out. And they are not very happy, are they? Right, okay, so I'll send my two most damaged units back in, and that, that did it, alright, well done. Now, this is something you have to remember to do, do the embark, disembark button, that is important. To Europe, the Azores, or to Europe, Iceland. Uh, I'll just, uh... I'll just do the Mid-Atlantic, the Azores. I do have my one, uh, my one colony in the New World now, and that'll have to do by resolve things in Europe. Try as you might with Sweden, you always end up having to do all your things in Europe. That is uh, where the action is for Sweden. You are surrounded by enemies, and you don't really have much choice. Now, hopefully I'll actually earn some money this turn and not go bankrupt again. That sucks. It's not fun, trust me. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's much else here. Oh, yes, of course, I can go to Christiania. And this is an easy battle. You can see, very easy. I'm not going to play this. They refuse to surrender, as always. So I did the off resolve and lost almost nothing. Oh, I see. I am losing troops every turn because I am bankrupt. They are deserting my armies. Uh, that's... That's actually good because that's realistic. I like that. People don't like fighting for people who won't pay them. Which is very understandable. Alright, so Christiania and Norway is mine. So I now have the best uh, territory in the entire game. Which is Norway, of course. It it's the best. There's no point asking why, just it just is. And that's it. I think that's all I can do this turn. I am going to attack Denmark next. Although he does have quite a sizable army in there, so I'm going to wait until my army has conquered Iceland first. Let's end turn and see what happens. Doing a little retard motion right there. Well, that's fine. They're British, so what do you expect? I also like that my Sweden and Finland on the map no longer looks like a penis and balls uh, because I conquered Norway. So I actually have I have blue all over the place instead of just uh, a cock and balls, like as you see on the Euro coin. It's not very nice. And uh, to be honest, that's the only reason why Norway has stayed out of the EU. Just so Norway, no, just so Sweden will look like a cock. And yes, that is true, you can quote me on that. Now, see, this is what I was afraid of that he would actually do this, and he did. So I lost my Indian man. I actually managed to kill one of his. But no worries, no worries. Oh, you blockaded my port again, so I'll still go bankrupt, I assume. Oh, I really need my fleet. And I still have an income though, so why am I not having money at all? I'm still using troops, I guess. Yeah, I am. Well, just destroy, blah blah blah. Destroyed, yes. Actual advance, okay. That's good for you. Let's see what else we can do. Um, I'm going to do some actual... Uh, uh, common land enclosures. Mm, enclosure, that's a good one. This is still ruined. I can't afford to build anything. So, that's just the way it has to be right now. 
However, I am going to conquer Iceland shortly, and the Danes will pay for the impudence. Now, how much is a... Uh, that's a lot of upkeep, isn't it? And the Danes don't have that big a fleet. You know what? I'm actually going to try and defeat those guys. Uh, because if I lose my ships, it doesn't matter. Just let's upkeep the pay. Now, I do not want to play this one myself, seeing how long it took to kill the Indian last time. This is just a 2 versus 3. I know some people are going to say I should do it, but I'm not. I'm going to resolve, hopefully lose my ships. And I didn't actually gain one. Yay. Captain! Hmm, I didn't get one, but okay. Now I can lift my siege next turn, which is always fun. I can also get my gentleman to deal that one. Uh, however, this gentleman doesn't have uh, Archie General, so I'm gonna try. He's too far away, isn't he? I do have a rake though. 31%, so he got executed. That's what happens. So I assume this guy's gonna fail as well, because that guy has a high roll this turn. But let's see. Run away! Looks like he was only wounded. That's fine then. So, yeah. Like I said, that, that guy has a high roll this turn. Uh, I think that it works like this. There's a siege generator each turn. And, um, and everything. And he had a high one this turn, so I won't be able to beat him. Still only one turn until ring bayonets. That's always fun. Okay. And I have some money now. So I'm no longer bankrupt. I shouldn't be, at least. I don't know why I suddenly got any money, but... Hmm. Okay, and Poland Lithuania is moving up troops here. He definitely wants my territories. Nice. And Russia is coming with a big one. I think I am in trouble, folks. Let's see how this goes. Now, I should mention, if uh, there's two battles straight after each other, I will uh, not make a one-minute episode between I'll just take two battles right after each other, if both Russia and Poland Lithuania attacks me this turn, or any other turn for that matter. Looks like they're busy just taking over my little town, which suits me just fine. And my people are unhappy. Why are they unhappy? Come for me. Bankruptcy. Oh yeah, that's why. Alright, well shouldn't my fleet have arrived by now? I thought it did. Might take two turns between America and uh, Europe. Apparently. See if I can win this one. Looks like they switch sides, so I think I might. Is that still my guy? Because if so, he's running away again. And yeah, it is. Ugh. That's really annoying. Bloody Russian gentleman. I'm going to get him though. Approved grenades. Explosive shells. Ah, oh, howitzers. I do want howitzers. I must admit, I do want howitzers quite badly. However, I really need some economy attack. Uh, I'm already researching economy light, so I'm going to go with that. Approved grenades and then explosive shells.
And here. now I'm going to defeat <laughs> this guy. Well, this guy. Yes, we are victorious. Which makes me happy because now my income should have jumped. Yeah, it jumped to almost 4,000, which is nice. I'm also going to blockade Denmark. See, payback is a bitch. Yes, that's not mine. And uh, yes, I'm siphoning some of that money to myself, so yay! Oh joy! Now, Denmark has quite a sizable army right here, as you can see. I have no means of defeating this army just yet. And uh, with my army taking Iceland, I'm hoping I can get peace with them. Just to take Norway and Iceland. If not, I will have to conquer Denmark as well. Uh, the problem now is this Russian army versus my little army right here. I do not think I'll win this if there's a battle. But who knows, right? And, uh, however, I do want to keep calling on all these uh, territories right here. So I'm going to regenerate as many people as I can. Okay, so it's a bad one to regenerate. Still a bad one to regenerate. Let's take two. Yeah, I can do those two. Okay. So, uh. Mina ögon och era öron. Okay. Two artillery pieces, uh, a few line infantry. I do have uh, more line infantry units than him, but he has artillery and mine, my line infantry are wounded. So, well, nothing I can do about that. Let's see how it goes, as always. Oh, and Prussia is doing me a favour right there, attacking upon Lithuania. Hopefully that'll keep him on his toes. Russia is going to Karelia. Thank the gods. And since my income increased a lot last turn, that hopefully means I'll get enough uh, turns to regenerate all my troops, which would be nice. Though once again, I do want to lose all my ships right here. That is what I want to do. Because uh, they're just upkeep train. And there we go, finally. I lost them. It's about time. Uh, he didn't get a turn to blockade my port though. Which is good. Because now my navy should be arriving in the mid-Atlantic. And Sweden is still riding. Let's train a couple of troops there. That won't make him happy. And more duels. We already seen this one, so we'll just. Uh, looks like that, that guy is completely invincible. He uh, he just won't die, will he? All right, all right. Time to regenerate as many troops as possible. Before the bad guys come, let's see. I actually want that, uh, that cavalry unit full as well. That one's already filled up. These ones can be filled up. Great. Uh, it looks like I might have a fighting chance. The Russians over here are worrying me quite a bit. They have quite a few, a few guys. And I, I assume most of my income is going to be gone next turn, because I'm making 4,003. That's going to be gone, so I'm going to lose 200. Okay, so I need to clear up some money. That one, yeah, should do it. Should do it. Fleet arrives. Yes! My, uh, Iceland strike force. And <laughs> it can barely not reach Iceland. Oh no, that is horrible. That is just so sad. Ugh. Well, stuff happens, right? Now, I should probably send most of my fleet somewhere else. I'll send all my 6 or 8s somewhere else to uh, Sweden. 
throughout this area. And I'll hope that Denmark doesn't have too many people over here. If it does, that just means less upkeep for me and I'll have to take out in some other time. That's a risk I have to take right now, I feel. Um, two, one. Gain. Okay, so he's better dual, dual snare. Which is always good. Prussia still, uh, still being mean to Poland Lithuania, keeping them off me, and I love that. I love Prussia for that. I'm gonna really try to get an alliance with them right now. I feel like that is the way to go. Although I feel I have too many enemies, so he won't, uh, he won't accept it. Revolution. Ah, yes, because my Swedes are unhappy. I've decided with the government, I feel. Yes. That is definitely the way to go. Uh, with, how big is the revolutionary army? It is not huge, and it's mostly militia. I feel that shouldn't be too much of a problem. To be honest. Swedish rebels. Part of this army to help them out. Uh, in fact, if he attacks me, that should be fine. Four. Yeah, five versus five. I am lying. He doesn't. I uh, should be fine over there. You know, I can use that cash too. Uh, replenish this this garrison in Norway, which I can then use to strike at Denmark with. Now, oh, how's my little Tigo doing? I can turn on taxes. Oh joy! Ministers, because uh, they're not very happy with my current ministers, are they? I need to get some more happiness for the middle classes. Or well, for the lower classes, actually. And he has four stars and happiness, so... I'm gonna get this guy up there. So, uh, four stars as well, you know. But he has more happiness. Kind of reform isn't very good. Does he give more happiness lower classes? He does, doesn't he? Okay, so I'll keep him for now. Because it is the lower classes that I am having trouble with. As you can probably see right here if I turn down the tax level on the lower classes. Actually, it's both of them. Ah, well, you know, that's just how it goes. It looks like it is middle classes, no lower classes that is unhappy, but... Too bad, right? They're just here to pay my taxes anyway. Not to give me money. I'm gonna send this one up first in case there's a fleet over there. No, it isn't, so that means this fleet is free to go to. Well, past Norway and into Denmark, and hopefully destroy the fleet he has there, which I'm worried that he's gonna blockade Malmo with. Which honestly would suck so bad. It would just be horrid. I stopped that because uh, you can see the income is 2004. The uh, trade is 2000, well, 2008. So I need to have at least 400 on standby in case it blockades it so I won't go bankrupt, which I have right now. Hopefully that'll do. And uh, this used to be major, uh, a major orthodox. A stronghold, now it is president, and that's just how I roll. So let's see how this goes.
Prussia still be my friend. I forgot to ask them for a uh, friend alliance. I really should do that. And if I grant them military access, maybe they'll take care of Poland and Lithuania, who's sitting in my little town. And these two gentlemen are just making me so annoyed. I really want to get rid of them ASAP. Why are Swedes so horrible at dueling? Why? Now where is my second agent? Oh, there he is. He is hiding in a mine. <laughs> oh well. New dueling scene. Oh, you cheating bastard, you're Swedish. You're not supposed to cheat. Uh, that's what you get. Uh, that's what you get for cheating, man. That's what you get for cheating. Coward. Okay, so I can probably send a few guys out from here. Let's see. Those are four guys, so they want. Okay, they want uh, five guys, that's okay. What about six guys? Still okay. Seven guys. And they're still okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Impressive. Okay. Well, oh joy. That means I can use this. Uh, here where some of them may join the rebels. What? Uh, that is unacceptable. So I'll just keep them in a way. And I'll recruit another troop over here. And let's see if I won't forget with Prussia this time. They're unfriendly, why are they unfriendly? Hmm, what about trade agreement? No? Okay, what if I give you military access then? Well, five turns, just so you can take care of them. Yes, that's what they wanted. Still won't do that. Okay, well that's fine though. Uh, hopefully they'll go up there and crush my little enemies in Poland, Lithuania right now. And my army is fully regenerated. Well, almost. This guy still needs some regeneration going. Order. The army has landed and he has nothing here. He has a couple of uh, those horrible units, but. That won't do him any good. And yes, my ship, the uh, Easterland's father, finally got to Iceland. So, uh, yeah, that prophecy was fulfilled. The ship finally went to Iceland. I'm just curious what to do here, because he has to attack me eventually. At least that's what I think he has to do. So, I can just sit here and let him. I should actually get a cannon. And a cavalry unit. Oh, ouch. Okay, well he hasn't located me this far. Uh, let's hope he doesn't do it again. Prussia decided he wouldn't go in there and take him out for me. Well, too bad, really. Oh, Russia has a huge army there. And a big fleet. 
How does Russia get a big fleet? They don't even have a port, do they? Oh, they probably have one in the Black Sea. Yeah, see, there you go. <sighs> Sigh. Portugal. Oh, sweet. And Morocco is destroyed by Spain, of course. Okay, let's take Iceland, shall we? And they accepted the surrender. I think that's the first time that's ever happened to me. But hey, you know, that's good. That's bloodshed. And the Danes are sitting there with an Indian man. Gonna take care of them. And now, no mercy for the traitors, no mercy at all. First of all, I just gotta kill these freaking... And he lost you again. Jesus Christ, sweet are useless at dueling. Oh, and I won, but I didn't kill him. That's fine though. Now it is time to destroy the rebel scum. And I am going to fight this one myself because uh, rebels deserve no mercy. So I'll see you on the battlefield.